Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I record my math lessons. Uh, before I share with you uh, how I do it, I just also want to share with you what I have tried so far in the past. Uh, if you're trying with those ones and you're struggling, so the one I'm going to show you, this is so far the best one. Okay, I've tried the screen board with the lights on it. I've tried that. Uh, the reason I did not like that one, it's uh, it's so time consuming. Uh, you have to record a video, you have to flip it, edit, all that. Um, I don't think so. I have that much time. But again, everybody has their own preference, whatever you prefer. For sure, the screen, uh, glass screen one is awesome. The way it looks, the neon markers um, kind of stands out. I love it how other people do those videos. That's why I tried it. But it's not something I like it. It's it's time consuming to record one math lessons a lesson it took me literally whole day to record a video and then i have also tried using a powerpoint with animations uh, that was also time consuming because to do proper animations to make your videos look super interactive it, that's also time consuming um and then i also used other software i tried OneNote, and i also tried a paint um, they're all good they all have their own uh, benefits pros and cons but the one I like it is the Wacom tablet um, even though I kind of go back and try other ones at end of the day I always come back to my Wacom tablet the reason it's a it's a super handy easy to record your videos all if you do just plug into your computer and start writing it okay but yes you do have to install a software from a Wacom um, website once it's installed all you do is just plug into your computer and start writing it um literally you can use any software that has a writing ability now powerpoint in powerpoint you can write in word you can write in a pdf you can write literally all soft most of the software so you can write it down the best part i like about it, using a powerpoint with wacom is when i use a screen recording option in a powerpoint i can re save my work easily so the way I do, I always uh, put a lesson one recorded video, lesson two recorded video. So it's easier for me to go back and see what I did and when I did. Yeah, that's the only reason I use it. And the other part is in terms of video recording, it's less time consuming. I don't really need to set up a special camera like now, the way I'm doing it now. I don't need to set up a special camera. It's just a screen recording. Um, my laptop already has a built-in microphone and that's all I do. If you do need to use a microphone, I recently got one. This is the simple one, just like 30 bucks from Amazon. You can get any microphone if there is a lot of noise around you. So yeah, so this is how I do and I would love to see what you do. Please put that in a comment. I wanna see how other people are doing. And now stay tuned, I'm still gonna show you how I record using a PowerPoint, all right? So let me walk you through. All right, guys, so here is my setup and my microphone is plugged in. Make sure you, it's a turned on. Last time I recorded a video, I forgot to turn it on. And then here's my PowerPoint set it up. And here's my uh, Wacom tablet. So make sure it's connected. Um, you should be able to write it down on screen. See, when I'm putting something on the uh, tablet, I can write it down here. So yeah, this is all you need to do, simple steps. And when you record a video, what do you do? It's um, just go down in the insert tab right here. So insert, go to screen recording. Okay, so you will see something like that. I'll just close this one off. And make sure you select a screen. So I'll do select area, what I want to record. So it's pretty much about this much I want to record. You can definitely put the whole screen. I'll go back to my PowerPoint. Actually, I don't need that much. I just need this much. Okay. So the reason I record within a PowerPoint, so that I have all my drawing tools available for me when I actually start recording it it's easier for me to flip uh, to change the colors that I want to change it or if anything else I need to change it around 
and if I need to move around the slides, it's easier for me to do it. Okay. This is all you need to do when it's connected with your uh, PowerPoint to record a video. And then just press the record button here. Okay, it will automatically start a recording. And you can pause it in the middle if you do have to do something. Okay, um, so I'll pause it for now. Make sure this one is um, pin the dock. You don't want to pin it. If you do pin it, um, it will be part of your video. You don't want to see this option in the middle of hanging in the middle of your video. Okay, so yeah, so this is all I do. And once I record my video, I press the stop button and here is your video. You can locally share with your students or you can right click on it. Right click and then there you go, save a media as. That's all you need to do. Saving a video literally takes up one minute. And I know I have tried other softwares where it takes at least 15, 20 minutes to export a video um, in the format you want it. Okay. More, uh, higher the resolution of the video, longer it takes. So yeah, this is all I do. Uh, after recording my lesson, it literally takes me five minutes to save it and upload it to YouTube. That's all I do. I hope you guys did learn something. Um, please, uh, any suggestions, put that in the comment section. Any concerns, something you want me to f improve, fix, whatever, please put that in the comment section. All right, guys, so now you know how I use my Wacom tablet uh, to record my math lesson. So I know there's another one, big one, but that one, the only thing I know is that one has a Bluetooth, this one has a wire, and I would rather spend $104 than spending $249, something like that. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, please put that in the comment section. Don't forget to like, and I, I hope you... Uh, did enjoy this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button please and don't forget to and uh i will see you in the next video thank you bye bye